After trying to, after, after so many weeks, weeks after I dislocated my leg, but since my leg is getting better and better, I took the liberty of gaining the strength of coming here, and I did. I succeeded. I am so proud to be here, and I shaved my beard because I look like a goddamn bum when I, when I. When my when I let my beard grow, after after not oh after both having COVID and getting my leg dislocated, and now I'm here. So I'm here to discuss my review of this fantastic movie that was a was that was a complete send off of the franchise, and boy did boy did it delivered. Jurassic World Dominion. Yes. Yes. We get to see how it all left off four years ago. Go after Fallen Kingdom. I mean, this movie was, was worth the wait. Wait, though. Yes, this movie takes place four years after so many delays, delays with COVID. Okay. So we get to see, we get to see Owen and Claire, Claire along with Maisie, who, who Shockley, became, Shockley is really a clone, clone that Ben Lock, Lockwood created. But turns out there was a different story to that one. And we get to see see Blue having a baby. <coughs> My bad. bad. Yes, we get to see her baby. Her name is Beta, which kind of makes sense since since Blue was a Beta and Owen was an Alpha back in Jurassic World. But shockingly, like, there were some poachers, some shady government that kidnapped kidnapped not only Beta but also Maisie. And now we get to see and now we can see Owen and Claire trying to rescue them. But not only they're here, but we get to see some see the returning cast from the first movie. Like 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 Ellie Sattler, Alan Grant, and Ian Malcolm, all played by all played by Sam Neill, Laura Dern, and Jeff Goldblum. Oh my god, it was amazing. Amazing though. I gotta say, I really did like the team up be between, between Owen and Claire and the others. They, when they, they work just like the Avengers, hands down. <laughs> Which is ironic considering Sam Neill and Jeff Goldblum are now part of the MCU. <laughs> remember, remember Thor Ragnarok? <laughs> yes, for the record, I always did admire Jeff Goldblum as the Grandmaster. He was fantastic. So, so I do find the movie quite related, just like, just like Return of the Jedi from Star Wars. I mean, it kind of makes sense. The three Jurassic World movies do remind me of, probably of the original Star Wars trilogy. I mean, the first, I mean, Jurassic World is like the first one. Fallen Kingdom is like Empire, and of course. Dominion is like Return of the Jedi. Oh, I got it. 
this movie has some this movie has some shocks at all it was epic it was outstanding and despite and despite what the critics gave Rotten tomatoes i think this movie was phenomenal no and out of this world it was it was fun but it was a little bit flawed uh, so 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 anyway wait yeah i really i really do admire this movie i'm so glad to be here so yeah yeah i think that's it oh yeah oh yeah i think with another i i still have a little bit more i do believe this this movie was more like a more like a spy thriller but because there were some there were some other governments that were that were controlling them and we get to see some awesome easter eggs eggs from the past movies movies though in fact in fact there was a villain that that this doctor that goes by Dobson I I do believe I mean I have heard that name before that was the same name from from this from this guy guy that gave gave Dennis those oh Dennis that that secret shape and cream <laughs> but yeah I knew I think that's yeah I think that's about enough so for my score for Dominion I I do believe it was quite awesome though. Very, very amazing. And so, so I think I'll give this one a nine. Definitely a nine. Despite what the, oh, wait a minute. Oh, let me see those. Let me see those shirts. Oh, y'all look fab. Oh, shoot. Let me take a picture. Okay, you could go. Yeah. Sorry about that. I mean, look at my shirt. I wore, I wore it just for the case. Patient, I got this. I got this on Amazon right on time. Damn, I look good in everything I wear. I. This movie was pretty cool. I really do admire this movie. I. I think I should see it again, again. But since I have, but since I'm able to go out to the movies though, I think it's best I should watch other movies that they got, that we, that they have for the summer this year. Okay, you guys, I guess that's it. Oh, speaking of uh, other movies, check this out. Yeah, they, they have the, have another stand pile for Thor Love and Thunder. So looking forward to seeing this. Here's Thor. And let's look look at the other side, shall we? Excuse me, boys. And of course, Lady Thor. Thor. <laughs> I I you know, I had a feeling that we get to see that we get to see see Jane Foster as as Lady Thor but it begs the question how did she got Mjolnir to reassembled after Hela broke it into million pieces you know my theory is that she had help from Eitri the dwarf from Infinity War, played by Peter Dinklage. I think, I think my theory that she had his help fixing the thing. Yeah, it's quite possible. But anyway, that's my theory. Okay, time to wrap this up. Oh, so if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all stay safe, stay healthy, and make sure you see Jurassic World Dominion this weekend. Bye.